In the picturesque valley of Kashmir, a timeless art form has been flourishing for centuries. Welcome to the Art of Walnut Wood Carving, exhibiting Kashmir's finest art, a mesmerizing journey into the heart of this age-old practice that captures the essence of Kashmiri craftsmanship. Kashmiri walnut wood carving is an important part of the region's culture and heritage, and is highly valued for its beauty and craftsmanship. Families and communities often pass down the craft from generation to generation, preserving the traditional techniques and designs. My name is Bashir Ahmed. Our company is called Ambassador Woodcrafts. We live in Amdakadal Nariwal. This is our three generations. My grandfather did it, my father did it. After that, my big brother did it. Then I did it. We have four brothers here who work together. They are workers who do it. The Kashmiri Walnut Wood ये जो यहाँ पर ये वॉलनट के पेड़ हैं उसको काटते हैं लेकिन ये बहुत मतलब बड़े पेड़ होना चाहिए पुराने पेड़ होना चाहिए तकरीबन दो साल अढ़ाई साल दो सौ अढ़ाई सौ साल के पुराने जो पेड़ हैं जो बहुत बड़ा होता है वही इसमें काम आता है छोटे छोटे पेड़ इसमें काम नहीं आते हैं तो फिर वो यहाँ मशीनों में आता है श्रीनगर में ज़्यादा मशीनें नहीं है तेरह चौदह मशीनें हैं जिनके ज़रिए हम इसको काटते हैं the walnut wood tree is locally known as Dunkul Warandun means walnut and Kul means a tree. The wood is hard and durable, it is close-grained and even textured which facilitates fine and detailed carving work. Walnut wood has an inherent sheen which comes on its own when polished with wax. The wood from the root of the tree is almost black and the brushes have the lightest color. The cost of the wood differs from each part, with the wood from the root being the most expensive. स्लाइड करके फिर उसको मतलब सरफेस करके उस पर काम करते शुरू। डिटेलिंग अक्सर जैसे कस्टमर बोलते हैं डिटेल उसी के मुताबिक जाती है मतलब उसको क्या बनाना चाहिए टेबल बनाना चेयर बनाना सोफा बनाना उसी के डिटेल के मुताबिक इसको चेयर आ जाता है उसी के मुताबिक इसको बनाया जाता है। सपोज आपको डाइनिंग है लोग अब चाहते हैं अब इसकी सबसे बड़ी फेमस ये बात हो गई है कि अब लोकल लोग जो हैं उसको इस्तेमाल करने लगे हैं उस वजह से ये ज़्यादा फेमस होने लगा है पहले तो ये फेमस नहीं था पहले तो यहाँ टूरिस्ट वगैरह लेते थे उस वक्त यहाँ कश्मीरी लोग नहीं जानते थे ये क्या है लेकिन अब माशा अल्लाह के फजल करम से ये सब होने लगा है कि Wood carving reached Kashmir from Central Asia some 600 to 700 years ago, through a Saint Shah Hamdan. The art reached its pinnacle in the era of Zainul Abidin, famously known as Budshah, 1420 to 1470. Walnut wood in natural form as well as in carved form has been used for making elegant furniture and home decor since its inception. The process begins with selecting the finest wood. Walnut, Shina, and Deodor are among the most prized choices, each with its unique character and texture. The master carver then meticulously sketches the design, visualizing how the piece will come to life. The real magic begins as the artisans delicately carve the wood, adding depth and dimension to their creations. Hours turn into days, and days into weeks, as the artists pour their heart and soul into each piece. The walnut wood logs to be used for carving are cut into planks of desired thickness with the help of machines. The sawmill locally known as band saws and the process is locally known as laker chiron or simply chiron. Planks are then cut and stacked to dry naturally allowing air to pass through. The first stage in this process is to keep the planks in an erect standing position so that the sap in the plank descends. This process takes about four to six months. The seasoned wood is then sent to the carpenter who makes the required object from it which may be a box, window or a piece of furniture like table, chair etc. 
These planks are cut in the required size and then are planed with the help of planer, and this process is called randon to make them uniformly thickened planks of regular size. The final planks so done are now given the finishing touches using various local tools. The sandpaper is used to smoothing the rough edges, while the pullet and varnish are used to make the surface smooth and polished. From the carpenter who is generally referred to as Chan, the object is then passed on to the wood carver. Our hero of this story locally known as Nakash who with his skills turns the bland plank of wood into a cherished form of art. From here the wood undergoes a series of steps. The first step in this journey is inscribing the motif to be done on the wood, onto the walnut wood with the help of a pencil, which serves as the baseline for the Nakash. Second step, it involves digging out the material according to the drawn pencil lines. It is done with the help of chisels called Dargivol and a mallet called Thap. The third step involves a deeper digging around the motif so as to obtain the required depth of the relief. Next step is giving a broader outline to the inner intricacies within the motif. It determines the actual shape to be given to the motifs. Samkadan is the final step in the carving of the walnut wood, still in its raw form. The sum is a nail-like tool with teeth-like structure. This process involves usage of nails with specially crafted teeth at the edges which are gently used for rendering the surface with uniform pattern comprising a series of dots. The last step in the walnut wood carving is the polishing and finishing given to the item before it can be sent out to the market. The person engaged with this work is called Roshankar. The walnut carved products are rich in recurrent motifs. Motifs on the item include rose, lotus, iris, grapes, pears as well as china leaves. Dragon themes and designs are taken from cami and weaved covers all discover their place in wooden articles with great finished surfaces. In today's contemporary market, Kashmiri walnut carving is recognizable because of its color and the tone and its combination with local craftsmanship depicting certain established motifs in a highly intricate and miniaturized form in the traditional established styles. You can see how dedicated these artisans are to their trade in the workshops that are dispersed around the valley. Each workshop offers a story of devotion as young apprentices learn from the experienced masters to ensure the heritage remains. Wood carving is not just about creating objects, it's about preserving the cultural heritage of a land. The designs are often inspired by the region's rich flora and fauna, as well as motifs deeply rooted in Kashmiri folklore. گزارا ٹھیک چلتا ہے ماشاءاللہ باقی کام جو یہاں قالین بافی یا لڈوزی یا وغیرہ قالین شال بافی ہے اس سے گزارا ٹھیک چلتا ہے مگر البتہ یہ ہے محنت اس سے زیادہ ہے محنت اس میں اس میں ہارڈ ورکنگ بہت ہوتی ہے اس وجہ سے انسان کمزوری میں آتا ہے تو گزارا چلتا رہتا ہے ہم لوگوں کا اس سے اس میں کوئی اصلی نقلی نہیں ہے جو ملب ہم لوگ یہاں پر رکھتے ہیں پالش کے بنا یہ اسی لئے اس سے اس کسٹمر کو پتہ چلتا ہے کہ یہ والنٹ ہے کہ نہیں ہے یہ بات صحیح ہے کہ چلتا ہے اصلی نقلی اس میں اور بھی وڈ جو ہے اس میں لگاتے ہیں میٹیریل لیکن ہم لوگ نہیں لگاتے ہیں ہم لوگ یہاں پر جو ہے والنٹ اگالتے ہیں اور یہاں پر جو اس کو لگتا ہے اور کوئی بات ملہب جیسے سوفا میں فرش لگتا ہے بیڈ میں فرش لگتا ہے پلائی وڈ ہم اس کو کسٹمر کو دکھاتے ہیں اس میں یہ پلائی لگتا ہے یہاں پر والنٹ ہے یہاں پر پلائی ہے یہاں پر اور کوئی بے ایمانی کی اس میں اور کوئی لگڑی لگاتے ہیں لیکن ہم لوگ اس میں نہیں لگاتے ہیں As we conclude our journey into the art of walnut wood carving exhibiting Kashmir's finest art we are left with a profound sense of admiration for these artisans who transform humble blocks of wood into enduring treasures keeping the spirit of Kashmiri heritage alive